Hey Denmark, I'm Laura. I'm fighting against fracking in the United States and now I'm here studying in Copenhagen and I found out it's coming here as well. We need to say no to Skifagas. Skifagas NITAC. Hydrofracking. Four syllables poison to hear, but what does it mean? Sounds kind of vague or unclear. How does it work and why is it bad? Why are so many people fuming fracking mad? Hydraulic fracturing. Specifics differ depending on the type of rock, but for this unconventional, horizontal, slick water natural gas drilling, you're going to need a well. Dig and send a pipe deep down into the ground, more than 6,000 feet down, and run it horizontally for over a mile. Mix in some sand and additive chemicals and millions of gallons of water. Pump that mixture down deep, pressure cracking the shale, letting the gas flow back up and out of the well. And bam, that's a rocky gist of it for you. Well, frack is whack and we're on the wrong track. In terms of energy, different by default does not equal better. It's great that hydrofracking doesn't rhyme with oil or coal, but that in itself doesn't mean we're achieving any real goal. Because in terms of air pollution, it's just as bad as coal. Property owners misled. Seismic activity induced frack fluid left untreated. And that's not all. Animals are getting sick and losing their fur. And people are getting cancer. Legislators, please learn the stories of those suffering. See the families, not masses. Don't go stripping humanity's face so at the ballot you can cast your vote without disgrace because after all, you don't have to meet the gaze of those you ostracize if you deprive them of eyes. Additives contaminating our groundwater, drinking water, water from the kitchen sink faucet catching on fire when a match is lit? I thought water was supposed to put out fire. Oops. Many places in our world don't have access to clean water. Let's not frack hours up, but rather assess this situation, not devote money towards expanding hydrofracking, spreading invisible poison to the public into the pipes of our homes. If that's not breaking and entering, then tell me what is, because it's entering our bodies and breaking them down, and the shale is sure as hell cracking. We need to be putting money towards developing clean, renewable energy. We need to ban hydrofracking. No. Frack, no. Hydrofracking has got to go. I said no. Say no. Hydrofracking has got to go. I heard this once, and I'll say it again. This movement isn't just about climate. It's about liberation. Freedom to breathe clean air and water to drink. Frack y'all, tell me what the Lorax would think.